This was early 2012 to 2013. They came. There were several after demol after after they had demolished those structures. Those slums have mentioned. Now they were they wanted to demolish even today. If not Mungano, Wanavijiji and Akiba Mashinani, young lady would have not been here because from the end of that place to that school over there you met, you met some other children with red uniform the, the were, we were facing challenge evictions and when mungano came we went to court being assisted by mungano and Abijiji, akiba Maj and katiba institute we went to court what went, made us to go to court there is a school over there called the Mindeleo Learning Center. The Mindeleo land, this absent landlord, absent landlords, they managed to get the title deed to secure a loan. It took loan from cooperative bank. Government is having a very big share in, in cooperative bank. They, then the cooperative bank wanted to auction the land. There was no other alternative. There are some structures behind Mindeleo school. So the structure owners came to us. We advised them. We take, we take the matter to, to Mungano office. Then Mungano and Akiba Mashinani Trust and Katiba Institute went to court. Since 2012, 2013, up to right now, the case has not been heard. It has not been heard. And why? How can the case concerning with the poor people's settlement take those years without being heard? We are, we are now stranded. The rule of law sh should apply to all. When a poor person case goes to court, it takes long without being heard. It takes long without being considered. 